Uh, good evening. I am Scott Sackett. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please take a second to like and subscribe. Um, when I was a kid back in the late 70s, one Thanksgiving, my cousin, who at, at this point was um, probably about 10 or 15 years older than me, uh, I was uh, junior high, just going into junior high. He was in college at a local college, came over to my grandparents' house. He was over there quite a bit. Came over for Thanksgiving, and he brought these. No, not these exact copies. These are actually uh, facsimile copies, but if you're unfamiliar with that, this, what this is, this is what was referred to as the original Dungeons & Dragons, uh, or OD&D. This is the uh, white box series and uh he he basically uh set up a game and all of my relatives myself including play, play dungeons and dragons now it was a pretty quick game it was pretty limited certainly but i really enjoyed it i was into fantasy at the time i was into conan i was into uh lord of the rings tolkien uh uh Fafar and the gray mouser by fritz lieber I was really into fantasy. My cousin knew this, and so next Christmas he gave me my own set, my own white box set of Dungeons and Dragons books. Now, as a kid, and and that was that was the end of it. Not the end of me playing, but the end of uh, me playing with him for for a little while. I didn't see him all the time, but he gave me the books, and so I devoured them. I got in and I started reading them, and. Uh, to be honest with you, as a kid of you know, like 12, 10, 11, 12, something like that, I was I was bamboozled by the rules. <laughs> uh, it took me a while to figure out how to even interpret it. None of my friends played. None of my friends knew anything about this. Uh, but I, I devoured these rules. And we eventually I figured them out, and I started playing with a friend of mine. And then... Uh, all of my friends started playing with the basic edition. Sometime in there, the basic rules came out. They got that, and then they got AD&D and started playing Advanced Dungeons and & Dragons. And I played a lot of AD&D later, but I still love these books. Um, these are not the originals. These are uh, facsimiles that I have produced. But you can see, um, you know, all the... All the uh, all the rules are here. If you're unfamiliar with it, here's the first book. It's uh, Men and Magic, which basically tells you I roll up a character and talks about uh, combat, talks about uh, talks about magic, users' abilities. It's the equivalent of the modern player's handbook. Uh, then there was book two, which is Monsters and Treasure, which is basically uh, the monster manual of the current monster manual. It talks about the different monsters. And you can see it's laid out a little bit different than, than the way they're laid now. There's a chart at the front that talks about the armor class and the hit dice and that sort of thing. And then there's descriptions alphabetical after that. And then uh, here's uh, Wilderness Adventure, uh, Underworld and Wilderness Adventures, book three, which is similar to the Dungeon Master's Guide. Um, it talks about how to run a game, shows you how to draw, how to draw up a map, and how to uh, just basically how to run a game, but I I really when I was a kid it's uh, you know all these charts wilderness mon wandering monsters when I was a kid <clears throat> I loved these books that's why I have these I don't I don't play from these but I have these um, just for nostalgic reasons but I enjoy reading the rules I enjoyed looking at the the illustrations um, you know they're they're <laughs> they're low quality if you've seen the Art of Dungeons and Dragons books, uh, which is a book I highly recommend. It talks about how these illustrations, a lot of times in the first edition, were done. Uh, Gary Gygax would hire high school kids to do them. I think he paid them like $10 an illustration or something like that. And so they're not, you know, certainly what we get now. Um, but, you know, they have kind of a, to me, they have kind of a charm to them, certainly. Um, okay, so I have this. And, and I love these rules. I love the fact that I, I now have these rules again. But recently I got this. Now this is the White Box. Fantastic Medieval Adventure Game. <clears throat> and this is basically all this in one book. And I got this. This is available for... Uh, you can download a PDF for free. Or you can buy a print version. 
uh, on Amazon for, I think it's five bucks. I got, I actually got this for Christmas. One of my cousins or one of my nephews gave it for me, to me. So I think it's kind of a nice synergy considering it was my uncle or my cousin that got me introduced to Dungeons and Dragons. And then they got me this. And, uh, I, you know, I'd heard of this and I knew it was kind of a, a, uh, updating of the rules. And if you want to play original D and D, I r highly recommend you get this. Even if you have these books, this book, is the basically the same rules they use the open license look at that character sheet if you played 5e uh you you realize your character sheet doesn't look anything like that i mean it's got the same strength dexterity constitution intelligence wisdom charisma but it, look how simple it is and that to me that's the appeal of this that you can get a game you can roll up a character in five minutes and you can get a game going um but the great thing about this these particular rule sets is it's got it all laid out easy to easy to comprehend and they've taken the old rules and they've kind of used some used some modern uh graphic design and all the stuff is here and it, it, it's all identical so here's cleric let's see table four turn the undead let's see let's find this in in the original one See, it's that's how hard that's how uh, non-intuitively laid out the first one is, and it, and it's not that you know they at the time that Gary Gygax came up with this, there was no uh, there was no uh, no uh, uh, nothing for him to look at. He didn't have any uh, previous. Oh, here, cleric versus undead monsters. So you can see everything is, is this, it's very similar. I don't know that all the numbers exactly line up. I think you're roll. I think you're rolling high on this is what you're doing. But my point is if you want to play OD and D, uh, original Dungeons and Dragons, the original white box, original three, uh, book, I recommend you pick this up. Like I said, it's five bucks. I think they're selling them at cost. Um, the art is a little bit different. It's got kind of a cool look to it. It's not a, it's, it, I wouldn't call it the old style, but it's not like the new style either. Um, and, and this is very nicely laid out. Um, under the monsters, it's, it's laid out kind of like how the modern stuff is. In other words, it's got the monster name and then it's got all the stuff there. So you're not looking back and forth between the charts like you would be on the original ones. Um, I have not played this yet. I don't know if, if my group will play this, but I love this book and I wanted to, I wanted to do a video, uh, showing how cool this is. And like I said, if you, if you played, if you played the original Dungeons and Dragons, the, I recommend picking this up because it's got all the rules laid out in a nice, easy to read format. Um, if also, if you're interested in this, um, there's a, there's a documentary uh, about the origin of Dungeons and Dragons. I think it's called Blackmore, uh, but it's about uh, David Arneson and his contribution to Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, that's a great documentary. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you liked it, please take a second to like and subscribe or, or leave a comment. Again, I'm Scott Sackett. Have a good evening. Good night.